Hi, my name is Haley Carter. I'm currently a 2013 California Sea Grant Fellow at the Ocean Science Trust in Oakland, California. At OST, we work to advance a constructive role for science and decision making to ensure healthy and productive coastal and ocean ecosystems. Fossil fuel derived carbon dioxide levels in our atmosphere have been increasing at an unprecedented rate. In May 2013, atmospheric CO2 reached the 400 parts per million milestone. CO2 gas combines with seawater to form carbonic acid, dissociates into bicarbonate and a proton, and further to carbonate an additional proton. It is these protons, or hydrogen ions, that cause a solution to become more acidic, or decrease in pH. This process is fundamentally altering the chemistry of our oceans. There are also a host of regional and local factors along the west coast that can contribute to decreasing pH in nearshore waters, including nutrient runoff from land-based sources and natural processes such as upwelling that brings low pH nutrient-rich water from the deep ocean up to the surface. Research has shown that low pH makes it difficult for organisms to form their shells and other calcium-based structures that they need to live. Acidification also impacts other physiological processes such as growth, metabolism, and reproduction in an array of marine organisms in their early life stages. Resource managers and stakeholders are beginning to express concern about the threats of ocean acidification to marine resources and uses. In 2009, the Center for Biological Diversity sued the US EPA for a failure to address ocean acidification under the Clean Water Act. In 2011, Washington State's oyster aquaculture industry, which generates over $200 million annually, experienced a larval oyster die-off that appears to be the result of upwelling of low pH seawater exacerbated by ongoing acidification. In response to the oyster failures, Washington's governor convened a Blue Ribbon Panel on Ocean Acidification. In 2012, the panel produced a scientific summary and key early actions Washington could take to combat ocean acidification in their local waters. That same year, the West Coast Governors Alliance signed a two-year agreement with a focus on using ocean observing systems to address ocean acidification. The USES are a national regional partnership working to provide new tools and better access to observing information. In addition, the California Current Acidification Network is a collaboration of scientists, resource managers, and industry dedicated to advancing the understanding of acidification on the West Coast. In 2012, the California Ocean Protection Council identified acidification as an issue that the state could benefit from improved understanding and charged the Ocean Science Trust with convening a science panel. With this exciting effort, experts will come together, building off the successes in Washington State, and generate useful products that serve the information needs of diverse communities and reinforce action on the West Coast with the best available science. Please visit calost.org to keep up the panel's work and find out more about our organization.